Hey guys, Darren here, Primal Panic. Uh, I just wanted to talk about something. Uh, I know uh, there's a lot of videos on YouTube that really helped me out this year. Uh, building props, finding things. Yeah, I've searched, I could find just about anything. I even found how to make a corn stalk. Uh, Still Be Studios has a great video on how to actually build corn stalks. I couldn't believe I actually found it. Uh, but something I wasn't able to find is how to make separate sound in each station of your haunt easier. Uh, I, I looked online, I searched everywhere, I found uh, one unit that uh, was going to be able to do everything I needed. It had up to 16 channels. You could play separate sound files on each one, and it was $3,500. $3,500. For a small unit that probably should have cost two hundred dollars, um, it does that wasn't in the budget. So, anyway, uh, I I found something out, and I'm going to show you how I did it, and hopefully this helps someone out. Maybe I can help someone that's helped me. Okay, so let me show you what I found here. This right here. This is a little USB sound card. I got it on eBay. They're about a dollar fifty. Real simple. Uh, it's got a plug for microphone here and headphones here, and it just plugs into the USB. Real simple. Dollar fifty. So what I did, I got a hub. And I bought a lot of them. <laughs> and I was really hoping this would work. Uh, by setting up the hub and plugging in multiple sound cards, I was able to play different sound files through each individual sound card. And the only thing I needed at that point was to figure out a way to have multiple media players playing on the computer at the same time and Winamp will do that. So you can go into the settings of Winamp and allow multiple instances in the general settings and then I'll show you here how to set up multiple instances of Winamp each playing a separate file to a separate sound card and then all you gotta do is plug in a separate station to each individual one. And so I ran a lot of very long cords from the computer out throughout the haunt, ending in each station, and plugged in computer speakers to each one, and it worked out beautiful. So let me kind of show you how I did it. Okay, so basically what you want to do is open up Winamp. Uh, I like to open up a window and set it aside because it saves all the settings. I'm going to set it aside and close it last. So then I open another. Uh, you can open as many as you want. I don't know what the, the actual limit is, but I've had uh, eight of them, nine of them going at one time. So here I'm going to open up three additional windows. And I'm going to leave the one that I opened first of course off to the side and that's just so I can close everything down and then close that one window last and save my settings because what I'm gonna do in each one is crop the file that I want to play in that particular station so on the first one I'll select a file and I'll crop it and then on the second one I'll of course select another file and the third I'll grab the hospital there and then what you want to do is open up the settings. You can see that each one plays the correct file. But they all play out of the same sound card, of course, the sound card that you have on your computer. So you'll need to go to the settings on each one. And select a separate sound card. So 
So after you've installed all your USB sound cards, you go to the settings and you want to go to the drop down and select a different sound card for each one. I just go in order because it numbers them differently every time you you plug them in. So I'm just going to grab the first USB sound card that I see, the top of the list. And of course on the second window, I'll do the same thing, but I'm going to grab the second one down. I'm looking for a USB sound card. And you apply, close it out. Go to the third one, fourth one, fifth one, however many stations you have. Select the next one in line and apply. And then when you hit play, in each win amp window, the USB card will begin to flash. And that's how you'll know that's the one for that station. So you plug in your sound to that one, go to the next one, hit play, you'll see the next one flashing plug in your sound station for that one and continue down the line and that's it that's how you get separate sounds to each station using one computer and I really hope that helps somebody because this made it so much easier for me alright thanks guys